shoes. They're more than just foot coverings. They're a statement, a reflection of your personality, a canvas for self-expression. From the elegant stiletto to the comfy sneaker, from the rugged work boot to the trendy clog, shoes come in a dazzling array of styles, each with its own story to tell. Some people are so passionate about footwear, they even have shoe fetishes. No judgment here, folks. Whatever floats your boat. For me, and probably for you too, I love a stylish shoe, but it also has to be comfortable. Footwear is big business, a billion dollar business propelled by billion dollar brands. These brands are elevated by celebrity endorsements, some even owning their own shoe brands. And speaking of stories, this brings us to Black History Month, a guy whose invention literally shaped the shoes on your feet. John Ernst Matt Zelliger. No, he wasn't a famous athlete or a civil rights leader. He was a shoe-making wizard, a Surinamese immigrant who revolutionized an entire shoe industry and whose story is a perfect blend of ingenuity, perseverance, and a healthy dose of, wait, who invented that? Let's roll back the clock to the 1800s. Shoes were expensive, like really expensive. Why? because every single pair was painstakingly crafted by hand. Brutal. Imagine the poor cobblers hunched over their workbenches, meticulously stitching the upper part of the shoe. The upper, for those not versed in shoe anatomy, to the sole. The process known as lasting was slow, laborious, and about as fun as untangling Christmas lights. A skilled cobbler might crank out 50 pairs of shoes a day. Enter our hero, Jan Ernst Matt Zelliger, who arrived in the United States at the ripe age of 20. He saw the inefficiency of the shoemaking process and thought, hmm, there's got to be a better way, probably while wearing some seriously uncomfortable shoes. Now Matt Zelliger wasn't your typical inventor, he didn't have any fancy degrees or a well-funded lab. He was a resourceful guy who eventually created a prototype for a shoe lasting machine. Was this a part of the industrial revolution for shoes? Yep. His invention wasn't just a minor improvement. It was a game changer. Matt Zelliger's machine could attach the shoe's upper to the sole automatically, making the process faster and more efficient than a room full of cobblers jacked up on Red Bull. Instead of 50 pairs of shoes a day, his machine could churn out hundreds, even upwards of 700. That's like going from dial-up internet to fiber optic overnight. The impact was huge mass production became possible and the cost of shoes plummeted. Suddenly, shoes weren't just for the wealthy. They were accessible to everyone. You could even buy two pairs. Shoes became way more affordable. Now here's where the story takes a slight sad turn. Matt Zellinger unfortunately died young at the age of 36 from tuberculosis. He never really saw the full financial benefits of his invention. And, adding insult to injury, because of the color of his skin, his contributions were largely ignored for a long time. It wasn't until much later that Matt Zellinger finally got the recognition he deserved. In 1991, the U.S. government issued a Black History Month postage stamp in his honor. It's a small gesture but it's a reminder that even though history sometimes overlooks the contributions of certain individuals, their impact eventually shines through. Matt Zellinger's story is a testament to the power of ingenuity, perseverance, and a good pair of shoes. He saw a problem, he found a solution, and he changed the world, one shoe at a time. So, 
The next time you slip on your favorite pair, take a moment to think about Jan Ernst Matzellinger, the shoemaking genius who made it all possible. Just give your feet a little extra wiggle to show your appreciation. They deserve it. After all, they've walked a mile in his shoes. John Ernst Matzelliger, 1854 to 1889, inventor of the lasting machine. Okay, and here we go with our recording. The City of Miami Gardens presents JITG Music Fest. New edition, Tony Braxton, DJ Cassidy's Pass the Mic Live, starring Ja Rule, Fat Show, and Remy Ma, Slick Rick and Dougie Fresh, Beanie Man, Escape, Coco Jones, Kem, also a special set featuring Miss Lauren Hill, Y Clef Jean, YG Marley, Buster Rhymes, Doshi, and many more. JITG Music Fest, March 8th and 9th at Hard Rock Stadium. Tickets at jazzinthegardens.com.